Hey Leon, here's a quick video to show how to cover this last part of replacing your CAMI assignments. So I'm going to pick up here at the Weaver School District website, jump to the Employees link right here, and then come down to Elementary Math. And if you recall, over here on the left-hand side is sixth grade, so we'll click that thing. And then we want to jump down to um, Approach 1. We'll click on Approach 1 Materials, and I'm just going to pick one offhand really quickly. So Number Systems. Inside this window, I have the quizzes and test study guides and the lessons. So I'm just going to come in here and pick 1A, 1B. And so this should open up here in just a second. So here's quiz 1A. So I did that really fast, right? I need to keep this in my own drive in order to work with it. And I've got this answer key page too that I'm going to have to delete. But that's cool. So I want to come in here and I'm going to either download or make a copy and move to my own drive. Right now you can see I'm out in this folder here, but I need to put it in my own drive. So I'll come back to um, my drive right here and we'll select that. And I think I've got just a math folder somewhere down here about eight miles into all my folders. Hopefully it'll remember where I put it. Hopefully I remember where I put it. So I'm gonna come into this math right there select that one and then we'll make a copy so it's copy of ns quiz 1a <clears throat> so from here now i have this in my file and i can take this sort of page right here that i don't want the kids to have access to and so now i've got my uh, copy of ns quiz 1a ready and so from here now i need to come into my canvas course and I'm kind of in an assignment right here right now, but as we talked earlier, or at least I wrote in my email, if you're in your uh, Canvas course, so I'm just gonna be in a Canvas course here that I have that I can use. So I'll open my Canvas course. Up at the top is Manage Subject, I'll click that. And then from here, I'm gonna go to Assignments, the link here on the left, and this will help me to find that CAMI assignment. Now, I don't have an CAMI assignment right here, but I'll just pick something right now that is an assignment. This, I don't wanna use that one right now. Come down to the one that's giving me problems, and we'll call it Exit Ticket 1.1, something like that. So I'm gonna jump into this Exit Ticket 1.1, and you can see I've got an Exit Ticket in here, but I'm gonna edit this. So um, let's go back one step. And I found that name, Exit Ticket 1.1. If I click its name with the CAMI assignment, it's still going to fight me. So I need to jump over here, click on the three dots, choose Edit, and then pick More Options. Now that should let me open it even with a CAMI assignment in here. So currently this is on paper. What I'm going to do is sort of change it up just a little bit. And I'm going to put this assignment that I have in here uh, instead of as a student annotations, which I Man, I don't like those. Student annotations are painful because the kids have to try to write on the screen with their trackpad, and that isn't funny. So um, I'm going to leave this one here, but then if I come up to this plug at the top, I'm going to make a space right here for things, so I have a place to do this. Put it down below with the stuff I already have. Is that at the bottom? No, I just messed that up. Sorry, thanks for your patience. So I'm going to come down and put it below my last problem just on here. So from here, I come to the plug. When I pick the plug, I go to Google Drive, which will be one of my options. If I don't see it there, I can go to View All, and then I'll see Google Drive LTI 1.3. So I'm going to pick that. And then from there, I'll select the file. I may have to authenticate that this is my drive first, but that's fine. Here's my copy of the NS quiz, which I took a page out of, if you recall, the answer sheet. So I'll attach that, and then I have to click uh, nothing right now. That, that basically does it. So as you can see, that page is now on the screen. And so for my students, they knew that we were going to work in a spiral notebook. So model the division problem. What they would do is take this problem right there, the 3 fourths plus 1 eighth, and draw that in their notebook so that we didn't have to try to draw on the screen. It was just too hard to do. Uh, same with these other problems. So now everybody can see it, they have access to it. Um, I hope that makes sense. And you'd save your change right here at the bottom, obviously. I hope that makes sense and uh, is as clear as mud. If you get stuck, let me know. My last step, obviously, save the assignment and then the students will be able to see it on their screen and be able to work on paper. 
I hope that was clear. Uh, if you have questions, be sure to get back with me and um, we'll try to take care of that so that um, you can get through it. Okay, thank you so much for your patience and I hope that covers the question that you had. Meanwhile, tell Bridget hello and have a great day.